Because when this happens, you know it's about to go down, okay? Alright, hey guys and welcome back to the channel. As you can tell, yes, school is in session. We are about to hit a real talk and this time around we are going to talk about something that I really did not feel too keen on discussing but we're going to talk about it anyway because he life late life and th these are some of the things that happen in life okay we are gonna talk about friendships now I did think about how I can incorporate toxic friendships and then at the same time I thought about how no let's talk about how to maintain a lifelong friendships because friends some friends are lifelong some friends are seasonal some friends shouldn't be friends some friends go to you even wonder to yourself oh, man, why am I friends with this person you know so we are going to talk about maintaining the ones that are already there and making them lifelong friendships let's get into the story okay, okay. so i read up and came up with five pointers as to how to maintain a really good lifelong friendship so think about all the friends that you have all the really good friends that you have and the ones that you want to keep in your life this is the video that will make sure that you maintain them and you keep them in your life well provided that they do the same thing too okay all right let's let's get into it so the first thing i would suggest to maintain a lifelong friendship is to be honest let's take that in like we could literally say be honest and act as if it's nothing it's actually a huge deal to be honest is a big thing sometimes you consider the fact that oh you don't want to hurt their feelings so you might tell a little bit of a white lie and maybe just omit the truth that's not how a real lifelong friendship should work with a real life lifelong friendship you want to be honest with everything that you share between the two of you. You want to have a friend that is going to tell you where to get off as much as you can tell them where to get off, right? So your honesty comes at a place where even if it's with small things, say you're going out and the outfit that your friend has on is rubbish, like rubbish. The thighs, the butt cheeks are showing and it's just too much for the eye to see. Rather than say, oh friend, you look so good, friend, you look so sexy, friend, yes. Tell your friend the truth. Friend, you're looking like a hooker, okay? It, it shows a side to you that chooses to be vulnerable, chooses to put your friendship at risk by telling your friend the truth and rather than telling them a lie you know what I mean especially when it comes to things like boyfriends and things like that if your friend has a shoddy boyfriend you should be able to tell your friend yes boyfriend right your boyfriend is just not okay and he's not doing the right things this is where I draw the line with boyfriends and girlfriends and things like that if your friend has a boyfriend or a girlfriend and you know they really love them or whatever the one place where i draw the line is you can be honest in your mind you can be honest and be like yo my friend has a shoddy boyfriend but at the end of the day you do not have a right to tell your friend that they must leave their boyfriend i've noticed that there are a lot of people a lot of girlfriends who are like who i friend who i am the type of shem i echo right he's not okay when suddenly he's cheating is whatever is whatever is whatever whatever yes you can tell your friend that Just that you must do that you must be honest and tell your friend but you do not have a right to tell your friend that friend you should break up with him that is not your place so there's honesty but there's also drawing the line and actually not taking into to, don't, don't push it too far people de deal with relationship situations differently i was in a position with my a very good friend of mine last year where I had to be so brutally honest to her. It literally strained our friendship so much. But I felt like I could not sit with this and not say anything. And the sad thing about it is that this fight came at one of the best moments in her life. She was going through such an incredible moment and I was so happy for her and what have you. And, you know, someone stepped in between me and her. Someone stepped in between our turf and spoke trash to me and I was like okay listen friend you need to check your friend if you don't check your friend and of course because of that it put us in a strained place but we're still friends till today because when you are honest with your friend 
it, it shouldn't come at the expense of, oh, I don't know if my relationship with my friend is going to end or not. No, you just be forthright and you be honest. That's, that's point number one, be honest. So point number two is you need to actively repair misunderstandings. So if you have disagreements, if you have fights and what have you, you need to actively put yourself in a position where you want to repair them. If this is a really good friend, your friend should be able to say, listen, friend, I'm sorry. We did this and that and we said this and that to one another because as much as, you know, you can say and go through all these memories and things together with you and your friend at the end of the day you know what can make your friend and you know what can break your friend i always say that my best friend can write a book about me and she could ruin my reputation that's how much she knows about me right i feel like if you get into a position where you have a disagreement with your friend you both need to actively want to repair the misunderstanding. You both need to actively want to sit down and be in a position where you are thinking logically and you're not thinking with your hearts at that point. At that point, you're not thinking with your hearts, you're thinking logically and you're gonna approach that situation from a, a, a logical perspective, right? So you want to be able to sit down with them and talk to them and say, listen, I really am sorry. You need to learn how to say sorry. You need to actively want to repair the friendship, repair the misunderstanding, repair the damage that has been done because in anger, we say things that are horrible to one another, especially as friends actively repair your misunderstandings all right point number three is you need to make time for your friend and show them your appreciation so you need to show them that you appreciate them being in your life make time for them does not mean what's up does not mean calling each other every day whatever make time for them means friend where are you i'm gonna rock up make me some tea and cookies and we are gonna sit down and i'm gonna tell you about the week that i've had okay and that y'all don't even need to go anywhere y'all don't even need to party with a true friend you don't even need to be out on the streets to to project that you guys have this really amazing friendship Y'all can have an amazing friendship sitting in the house, having a cup of tea and talking about the things that you're going through and discussing and advising and helping one another out from a real place. So you need to make that constant effort to want to see them all the time. Friend, when am I seeing you? Friend, it's been two weeks. Look, we all know that life gets in the way and we get busy and we do this and that and the other. But at the end of the day, with a good friend, a good friend will want to constantly maintain contact with you. They will constantly want to get, like catch up, phone you. If they can't see you, maybe uh, your friend is out of town and she's doing work in Cape Town and you are here. They will actively want to make that effort to actually call you and WhatsApp you and FaceTime you. But when they are around, they want to be around you. Number four is be accountable and keep your friend accountable as well. So if your friend says, friend, on Saturday, it's me and you, we are doing this, we are meeting up, blah, 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 and they bail out on you at the last minute, yes, it's gonna make you upset. You have every right, you're their best friend. You can be upset. You can throw your toys out the cot and whatever. But if your friend says, no friend, next week we are on, we're doing this, we're doing that, blah, 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 blah. Uh, then you need to keep them accountable to that. You need to remind them. They need to also remind you, vice versa. Everything I'm saying here works in a vice versa term, okay? They need to also remind you that, friend, you spoke about meeting, what's happening? You need to keep them accountable as much as they need to keep you accountable for the stuff that you are doing, okay? That is the key to maintaining a long life friendship. And then the last point, which is basically a bonus point for me, is to maintain mindful communication. So obviously communication is a very, very, very like basic part of any friendship. Like communication, we talk all the time. I talk to my friends all the time. Every single day on WhatsApp, I'm talking to this one and this one and that one and the other. But also maintain mindful communication. So you need to be considerate of what your friend is going through. You need to be considerate of where, at which, at, at which stage your friend is in, in their life. You need to be considerate of things like that. Your friendship can't be based just on, oh, we're going to 
party oh with this every time you contact your friend it's all about partying and going out and being here and being there and doing this and doing that that's that's not mindful communication between two friends that's just friend let's go out let's do this mindful communication is considering that one of my best friends is married i cannot just be hitting her up at 1 a.m. and being like, friend, you will not believe what happened to me today, girl. Oh my God, friend, I saw this person and blah, blah, blah. I can't do that. I need to be mindful of the fact that my friend is married now. She is a married woman. I can't be just like, friend, when are you coming out? Let's go. Meanwhile, that time is like 1 a.m. Are you crazy? You know, and as much as they need to be mindful of the fact that maybe I work long hours and I can't constantly be, you know, ready to go at, at, at a whim at any point in time, whatever. They need to be mindful of that as well. So not only is it communication, but it's mindful communication. You're considerate of the fact that you, you and your friend are at different places and points in your life. There's certain things that they may not be able to do. Those are the things that are um, important in maintaining my phone normal well, in maintaining a strong and long lasting friendship. I hope that helps. Uh, but those are my five points. So it's just being honest, mindful communication, be real, keep them accountable. So be to your friend what you want your friend to be to you. That's, that's honestly all, all that is, you know, and if somebody is not showing that to you, if your friend is not showing you that you know what, you feel like you're doing all the hard work, then that's not a friend. Then that's not somebody you should keep around. That, that was a seasonal friend. That was a seasonal friend. We're just gonna cut it here. Tell me what you think. What do you think are the big points when it comes to maintaining a lifelong friendship? I'd love to know. Let me know down below. And for now, I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you in the very, very, very next video. I'll see you soon.